in this video we are going to discuss one more problem related to convolution of two signals. So, in the last class also we discussed the, the convolution of unit step and ramp. So, here also we are going to deal with the same type of problem. So, you can see the problem find the response of the system if h of t is equal to t into u of t for an input u of t minus 1. So, ultimately so the question is asking the response of the system response of the system is nothing but output of the system as i told you at the beginning of signals and systems response is nothing but output and excitation is nothing but input so here you need to find out the output so if h of t is equal to t into u of t you know that the representation of h of t is nothing but impulse response of the system for a impulse response if the input is u of t minus 1 then you need to find out your output. So, for that output I am naming that output as y of t. So, your y of t you need to consider whenever your input is unit step function and your h of t is t into u of t. So, before getting into the procedure actually they given uh, x of t that means input so, input x of t is equivalent to u of t minus 1 and impulse response h of t is equivalent to t into u of t. Now, so here how you can get the output of a system as you know that the output of the system is related to its input and impulse response with convolution you can say so your y of t is equal to convolution of your input and output that means so y of t is equal to x of t convolution with h of t. So, this is the thing you need to consider y of t is equal to x of t convolution with h of t by considering convolution of your impulse response and input signal you are going to get your response. So, here you know that what is your input signal that is a step function that is also a shifted step function. So, here I am considering that shifted step function u of t minus 1 convolution with when I am writing h of t. So, I am just observing the input data they given. They given h of t is equal to t into u of t. You know that the definition for r of t is equal to. So, that means ramp signal definition I am writing here. So, this is equal to t when t greater than or equal to 0, 0 when t less than 0. This is the definition for r of t. So, here you can compare with h of t. So, here t into u of t is nothing but. So, h of t is equal to t when multiplied with unit step function means 0 to infinity. It shows t into u of t shows. So, h of t is equal to t from 0 to infinity. Why? Because h of t is equal to t into u of t means from 0 to infinity your t is multiplied with u of t that means 1 from less than t that means 0 and less than it is going to multiply with 0 why because u of t when t less than 0 is equal to 0 then your impulse response is having value from 0 to infinity only that value is equal to t. So, you can compare your ramp definition with this impulse response given and I am going to write like this h of t is equal to r of t. So, you can write like this that means the definition of ramp you can also write like this that means t into u of t this this having same meaning. So, this is equal to t from t greater than or equal to 0 u of t is nothing but it is having 1 from t greater than or equal to 0 that is the meaning. So, you are multiplying t with 1 from t greater than or equal to 0 if you multiplied 1 also you are going to get t. So, in the remaining cases your unit step function will be 0 and it will be 0. So, you can write h of t is equal to r of t directly I am just substituting that h of t here. So, now as we discussed in the last class when you saw the convolution of unit step with ramp you need to consider or this is better to consider differentiation property in convolution that is mean. So, differentiation property in convolution states that if you want d by dt of y of t then 
you need to consider differentiation either for signal or impulse response so whenever you saw two signals u of t and r of t if you are used to consider differentiation means this is better to consider differentiation of u of t why because so differentiation of u of t is nothing but del of t impulse function or and if you go on to r of t then you need to get another uh, unit step function differentiation of r of r of t you are going to get another uh, unit step function and you need to convolute again and you will get some lengthy process you can consider this differentiation either for r of t or u of t you can see the properties of convolution so in that you are having this property special properties of convolution on this we are having um, one uh, lecture also differentiation property in convolution so d by dt of y of t if you want to consider then you need to consider d by dt of x of t convolution with h of t this is better to consider like this or you can consider x of t convolution with d by dt of h of t also but here as differentiation of u of t is impulse function impulse function is simple in next steps then i am going to consider differentiation of this one so here this is the differentiation property i am going to consider before getting into differentiation here you can see y of t is convolution of these two signals that means here for one signal you are having shift so if one signal is having shift means so you are uh, your total signal is going to change like anything that means this shift is having effect on your response so now i am just considering g of t this is another response this is another response after uh, processing two three steps i am going to relate with your problem so when you got this type of problems you need to consider a general g of t general response g of t which is convolution of u of t with r of t when you are considering g dash of t that means first derivative of g of t then u dash of t convolution with r of t you can take you know that differentiation of u of t is equivalent to del of t del of t convolution with r of t as you know that del of t convoluted with any signal it's going to provide the same signal here i solved this convolution by using differentiation after solving after making into single signal i am again getting my original signal g of t is equivalent to integral r of t when differentiation came this side it will become integration integral of r of t nothing but integral of t dt so this is t square by 2 u of t so every time when you saw u of t convolution with r of t either in shifted form or in normal form you need to consider the response like this t square by 2 u of t this is the general response that means um, standard unit step convoluted with a standard ramp then you are going to get t square by 2 u of t this is the standard response the standard response i represented with g of t but we don't want the standard response we want shifted response if u of t convolution with r of t is g of t then if any uh, one signal or impulse response shifted that shift is having effect here that means so this is equal to you can write by relating this equation with this equation if u of t is uh, convolution with r of t is equivalent to g of t then you can write u of t minus 1 convolution with r of t as g of t so whatever shift is there that shift i am going to write here here i am not having any shift that's why i am not going to write that shift for example if you are having t minus 2 here in your problem in any other problem that minus 2 also you can take in the response signal so this is equivalent to g of t minus 1 if you are asked to find out the convolution of this then if if you found g of t minus 1 then that will be equal to convolution of this thing so now we don't want g of t this is standard one but you want g of t minus 1 so here this is equivalent to if you substituted t minus 1 in this equation t minus 1 whole square by 2 u of t minus 1 again you got the same answer as uh, previous class so g of t minus 1 is equivalent to t minus 1 whole square by 2 u of t minus 1 will be the answer 
for this problem that means this is the response of the system if the impulse response of the system is this and you give an input u of t minus 1. So, when you saw in step with convolution uh, with r of t you need to choose differentiation property standard differentiation by using standard convolution of in step and ramp and by differentiation property you need to keep in mind about this one and just you need to consider the shift that shift you need to substitute in the standard convolution result.